Hey, what's up guys? Colton Lindsay live inside of the Fearless Agent Facebook group. What is the POCA when it comes to Fearless Agent listing presentation? In fact, when I first learned the POCA over a decade ago, it not only was more empowering for my sellers that I was meeting with, but for myself in having absolute certainty that I could deliver a presentation that would lead me to getting a contract signed. So here's a question for you. How would you like to sign even more listing contracts? And what if you could do it at heaven percent for 12 months with an automatic price adjustment every two weeks? Would that increase the number of sales you have? Would that increase the amount of money you put in your pocket? Well, one of the key places inside of the field agent listing presentation is what's called POCA. What does POCA stand for? It stands for preview of coming attractions. And there's four major points when you're giving the preview of coming attractions to the seller. Now, whether it's a listing presentation, a buyer presentation, investor presentation, does not matter. What we want to be able to do to give powerful presentations and we want to be able to paint the picture and identify where we are going. Here's what people want. They want clarity, they want expectation, they want a direction, they want a place and a step-by-step -step system to follow. Why? Because they're uncertain about the outcome of their real estate transaction. So if we can instantly instill certainty into their mind that we have a direction to go and we're not just winging it and wasting their time, they will naturally believe in the things that you have to say. And in fact, I'll give you a trick. With my fearless agent listing presentation, I have the whole thing written out on paper. I take it to the presentation with me. Sometimes I read directly off of the paper. Now, if you're like me, you probably forget pieces of it. What this does, it allows me to stay on task with what I told them I was gonna stay on task with. So here's step number one. Part of the preview coming traction is to first say, hey, appreciate you coming over here. This is introduction. Appreciate you having me over today. I'm excited about the opportunity to list your house today. More importantly, get your home sold. That really is the goal. By the way, are you familiar with something called the expired list? Oh, you're not? Well, what it is, it's a list of people that have two things in common. One is they, they put their home on the market for sale and were unsuccessful because the agent did not do their job. And second is, in my opinion, they never should have done business together in the first place. Would you agree with that? You should have never done business with someone that's gonna allow you to fail? Awesome. So what we're gonna talk about today is, first off, I'm just gonna ask you a bunch of questions. Really, and this is step number one of the POCA. This is where the POCA starts. First off, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. More important than the house is you and your plans and how I can help you, okay? Next off, we're gonna take a tour of the home. You're gonna share with me everything that I would need to know about this home so that we can sell it for top dollar and that's the goal, yes? Third thing is, we're gonna come back to the table and I'm gonna give you a brief and complete idea of how we do things when we sell your house so that we absolutely get top dollar for your home. And that is important for you, the money, yes, Mr. Seller. And then the fourth thing is, once we finish there, I'm gonna give you a complete idea of the price, and more importantly, a strategy to make absolutely certain when you sell your house, you don't leave any money behind. Fair enough? And then you move into the series of fear of loss questions. So when you go through those four points, it creates a path for your sellers to walk down towards with you. And if you have a path to go towards, hey, first I'm gonna ask you some questions. Next, we're gonna go on a tour. Third, I'm gonna give you a brief idea of what we do when we sell your house. And th fourth is, I'm gonna share with you how to price it right and to make sure that we have the strategy to get all the money you want. Then all of a sudden, when we move through that pricing strategy clear to the end, the last thing is, now you have all the information to make a decision whether to hire me right now or to not. But either way, you'll have all the information you need. And then you can simply ask them, is this definitely what you're looking for at the end of the presentation? And either yes, they absolutely are def definitely looking for that, or no, they're not. And if they're not, either you didn't do a great job in asking questions and going through the flow, or they're crazy. The better you get at the presentation, the more the problem will be is that they're crazy and that you didn't do a great job in the presentation. Your job is simple. Give an amazing fearless agent presentation and how the cookie crumbles, the cookie crumbles. Whether you get the signature or not is irrelevant. When you start to have more of those presentations that are awesome with nice, sane, motivated people, they will naturally pick up the pen, sign your contract, hire you, and you will increase your sales, decrease the crazies that you work with, increase your profits, and decrease the nights and weekends that you have to work. So if those are the types of results that you want, I recommend you go to fearlessagent.com, get in touch with Bob Leffler and say, hey, I wanna learn the polka, I wanna learn the fearless agent listening presentation. 
For those of you that are already fearless agents, we appreciate you, we love you. Drop comments or questions down below. If you are a live watcher, drop an L. If you're a replayer, drop an R. Go to fearlessagent.com, we'll see you later.